before we continue with more stuff on the job, I wanted to just uh, show you a little bit more about the index file or about our HTML files. So um, your HTML file, firstly, I've called mine index2.html because I still want my index as my actual index. So I just made it any rubbish name. You can call it anything. It's got to have a .html. So it's created in my resources and then I've got a static folder and I've got a templates folder and in that templates folder I've got my index a index 2html so this index 2 is just a test file I want to show you how to work with the indexes in with the html files and um, so I've got my html file here and I've at the top I actually specified that I'm using time timely Okay, so this code is standard code, you can get it from me. And then in the header file, so my HTML has got a closed stack HTML. So whenever I create an HTML file, I've got to start with HTML and close with slash HTML. So um, sometimes I can just do HTML. So that is my open tag, like for instance, like this. Okay, so I've got my open tag HTML and I've got at the bottom slash HTML to close off my file so that you've got to have. But we're going to do it differently. We're going to change my HTML file to also specify that I'm using timely. So that code you've got to have. So that I need to have my open and my close at the top and the bottom of my HTML file. Now inside the HTML, I've got two elements there. I've got a header, a head and a body okay so I've always got to have head and slash head for header and body and slash body for body so in the header I can specify things that won't actually show as part of my main page as my everything that is about the page but not actually showing in the page I put it in the header section and then in the body section I put everything that I actually want to display on my page okay now, I want to tell you about this bootstrap. So what we are using in this line that I've got at the top in my header, and then this line that I've got at the bottom of my body section, the last thing in my body section, I want to tell you about that. And that is what I get from bootstrap. Now, bootstrap is a wonderful thing because it's going to help me format my HTML without me having to bother to go and do all the formatting myself okay so you can do your formatting yourself but I've just because we are more wanting to learn about Java Spring Boot I don't want to spend that much time on going into formats with HTML so we just use it a style template now I'm going to show you how to work with a style template so I'm going to go to the internet and um, I'm going to show you, if I go to Google, I'm going to search get bootstrap and that will then bring a file that is https getbootstrap.com okay and when I go to getbootstrap.com I get this okay so um, this is absolutely wonderful now what I've got there is you'll see I've got the code that I've just shown you there is the code the bootstrap code that is in my file that I've just shown you and you can actually get it from uh, from the bootstrap okay what I do is I go CDN links okay and here it's got my CSS information and JavaScript information so the top one is the one I put in the header okay and the JS is the one that I put in my body but at the very bottom from my body section of my html file so this is where you can get that information from and i just want to show you a little bit here about the bootstrap um, so for instance let's say i want to do tables okay i can click on tables and um, it's got loads of different different styles for a table okay and um, you can pick what you like and let's say for instance i i want um i want this okay so now I've got to uh, look 
in this bootstrap uh, document, okay, here on get bootstrap, whatever, wherever I've clicked, it's going to tell me what I must put into my HTML file. And here, class table, I want to use class table because that will then um, uh, format my table, okay, if I want to use a table, format my table, and it will format it according to um, Bootstrap because I put the header in my, I put the scripts into the header and into the body that it must pick up the, the description, the, the style lay, uh, the style formats like bold and the size of the font and the type of font and the discolored black and so on and that my first column is going to have a different uh, lettering than the other columns and my first row is going to have different lettering than the others. All of that comes from this here, you see. And then I can have, for the th tags, I can have another uh, class there. And this is, you look here how you want to code um, your, your styles. Okay, this is where you find how to code the styles. So you can actually even just copy and paste this out. Um, so that is how I use the style. I'll show you in a minute. Now I'm going to work with my heading. So let's say heading. Now my heading is a standard tag and I I haven't got a choice on what my heading is going to look like unless I want to do a lot of coding and I don't feel like doing a lot of coding. So the heading is not, a header is not here but I'm going to show you how to do the header. Okay, now I'm going to go uh, to Java and you see I've got H1 uh, and I've got my page heading. So this H1 is a header tag, so that is how to get, going to get text that's in the size of a heading. And the style of how will that heading look, the computer gets it here from that bootstrap. Okay, so um, heading is a standard tag, so I don't have to specify class, it will just change it anyway. Because I can only have one heading type, if you had seen... There were different uh, type of tables, so therefore I had to specify which table I like and then how to format the tables. I'm just going to show you, I can do, for instance, header 2, heading 2, and heading 3, and whatever, I'm not going to do all of them. And I'm going to do a, pa a paragraph, and a paragraph, okay? So I'm going to say this is my heading 1, and this is my header 2. And this is a paragraph. This is uh, this is my paragraph. Okay. So I'm not going to go into much more than that. It's just to show you. I've got my HTML tag. I've got my head tag and my slash head to close the header. I've got body and slash body to close the body, and I've got to have um, at the bottom of my. Uh, uh, body tag. I've got to have the one script that I got, the one with the JS for JavaScript that I got from my bootstrap and in the header I must have the um, the script that I got from my bootstrap for the CSS. So that CSS goes into the header and JavaScript goes as the last thing in the body. And now I can just use my tags and these tags will automatically be formatted according to the bootstrap. So I'm going to save this. And now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use this HTML file.